I think is an important question. If we are Christ's ambassadors and if we are, have this message of reconciliation, the question is, what is reconciliation? How do I live a reconciled life? And this is very important because if this is a message that you need to share with others, we need to know what this message of reconciliation. The message of reconciliation is not this. Okay, so it's not this group of people has harmed this group of people and we're going to wait for these people who are bad to apologize to the people who were good who they harmed. That's not reconciliation because that rarely, if ever, happens. So listen to the upside-down gospel version of this. This is what reconciliation is. The one who is harmed reaches out a hand of peace to the ones who harm them in order to establish reconciliation. Because here's the reality. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. Who's, who's, the, one who does, who, who's the one who does the harming? We do. Who is the one who is harmed? God. Right? God has never done anything wrong to us and we are the ones who have turned our backs on him, and yet he is the one who provides the way for reconciliation. He is the one who comes with the peace offering. He is the one who sends his son to die on the cross to pay for your sin, to make the reconciliation even possible. Paul describes it like this in Romans 5, 8 to 11. God demonstrates his love for us in this. God shows us his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we now have been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if when we were God's enemies, which is what we were, right? For if we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him how through the death of his son. How much more having been reconciled shall we be saved through his life? Right? That's what's occurred. Not only is this so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. We have been reconciled to God through the blood of Jesus Christ, through his death on the cross. While you were a sinner, while you were God's enemy, God did that for you. So, us as Christians must live a reconciled life the same way Christ did. Someone has harmed you in the past. Guarantee it. You can't just sit there and go, you know what? I'm never going to forgive that person until they come and beg before me and say they're sorry, and then maybe I'll reconcile with them. No, no, no. You're the harmed party. You still got to reach out your arm and say, look, we need to reconcile something here. Because that's how you live a reconciled life. That's how people know you're different. Because that's the divine way of reconciliation. It's not about just sitting there waiting for someone to come and apologize to you. You must take the first steps in providing a way of reconciliation. 